fairest child, the fairest mother, God the Lord who came to earth. Word made flesh, our very brother, takes our nature by his birth. Sing of Jesus, Son of Mary, in the home at Nazareth. Toil and labor cannot weary, love enduring unto death. Constant was the love he gave her, though he went forth from her side, forth to preach and heal and suffer, till on Calvary he died. As we gather under the protection of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, let us beseech God to open our hearts to a deeper experience of his love and supreme mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I'm Father Matthew Rorick. I'm the chaplain for Council 11369 from St. Michael's Parish and St. Paul Monastery here in Canfield. This evening we will be reflecting upon the icon, um, Mary, um, Our Lady, Help of Persecuted Christians. And over the years, since 1979, the Knights of Columbus have issued a number of icons to focus us on different issues, different aspects, especially of Mary. And over the years, we've had an icon for Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, Our Lady of Chestahoa, Our Lady of the Assumption, Our Lady of the New Advent, Our Lady of the Rosary, and Our Lady of Charity. And so we are asked to reflect upon our brothers and sisters who are in persecution. And so we are going to listen to the words of God to this evening, and then we'll look at the icon and give some reflections from our last three Holy Fathers uh, on persecuted Christians and what it means for us. And so let us pray. O God, who in your inscrutable providence will that the church be united to the sufferings of your Son, Grant, we pray, to your faithful who suffer for your name's sake a spirit of patience and charity, that they may be found true and faithful witnesses to the promises you have made. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Esther. Recalling all that the Lord had done, Mordecai prayed to the Lord and said, Lord, Lord, King and ruler of all, everything is in your power, and there is no one to oppose you when it is your will to save Israel. You made heaven and earth and every wonderful thing under heaven. You are Lord of all, and there is no one who can resist you, the Lord. And now, Lord God, King, God of Abraham, spare your people, for your enemies regard us with deadly envy and are bent upon destroying the inheritance that was yours from the beginning. Do not spurn your portion, which you redeemed for yourself out of the land of Egypt. Hear my prayer. Have pity on your inheritance 
and turn our mourning into feasting, that we may live to sing praise to your name. O Lord, do not silence the mouths of those who praise you. The word of the Lord. Our psalm response, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Who, when evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, these my enemies and foes themselves stumble and fall. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war be waged against me, even then do I trust. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. For God will hide me in the shelter in times of trouble. He will conceal me in the cover of his tent and set me high upon a rock. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While they were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on them and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, Whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When he saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him, and he began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. 
Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we are gathered here this evening, we are to remember those who have been persecuted in the history of our church. And so we want to take a look briefly at the icon that is before us. The icon was created by the Italian iconographer Fabrizio Diomidi. And first of all, we see that the child Jesus is over the heart of Mary. And at the bottom, we have some of our more recent Christian martyrs, which include six priest members of the Knights of Columbus. And at the bottom, among those who represent those who have died recently in the history of our church and our society, the four crosses represent what has been called an ecumen ecumenism of blood. They represent the Roman Church, the Eastern Churches, the Coptic, Armenian, Syriac, and the Orthodox traditions. And so it reflects upon how Christianity and all these various churches have been persecuted. Now I discovered today, and I did not plan this, but in the United Nations today, is a big long title, it's the International Day commemorating the victims of acts of violence based on religion or belief. Trying to highlight that the persecution in our church still continues. In the report that they gave over the last couple of years, it says that 61% of the world's population live in nations where religious freedom is obstructed are completely denied. And it is estimated that 327 million Christians live in nations where they are persecuted for their faith. And the report between November of 2017 through October of 2018, so in one calendar year, it found that 4,305 Christians were killed because of their faith. And what I found, surprisingly, the, in Europe, the country where Christians are most targeted is France. And I just found that to be somewhat surprising. But they're hoping that people will begin to speak up about how the persecutions have happened in our faith and in our world even today. So my reflections this evening which come from the various catechesis that we have in our booklet, comes from our last three popes. The first is, comes from St. John Paul II. It says the martyrdom can be of both body and of spirit. So it's not just a physical, but we can be suppressed in expressing our faith and giving out our faith and witnessing. And he also says that if we are Christian, we cannot exclude martyrdom from our own life's horizon. So if we have accepted to be Christian, if we're going to speak out for our faith, then we have to face the reality at some point we may face some sort of martyrdom, some sort of persecution. And so how do we respond to that? He also reminds us that the cross, the cross of Jesus Christ is necessary for us. He tells us to take up our cross and follow him to give a witness to our faith, give a witness to how important it is for our relationship with Jesus Christ. He also reminds us that if they have persecuted him, they will also persecute us, he told his followers. And in today's gospel with the Beatitudes, blessed are those who are persecuted for their faith, that they are going to stand up for their faith. 
And so he reminds us again, Pope John Paul II, St. John Paul II, our cross is an imitation of Christ to our faithful witness and our daily work. And the cross is going against the tide, going against injustice in the world. It speaks out against injustice. It speaks out against the loss of freedoms. It speaks out against violated rights. And again, as we see, there are still continuing to go on today. And he reminds us that discipleship is not an easy journey. Once we have accepted the faith, once we have accepted to be Christians, once we have accepted to be followers of Jesus Christ, then we need to stand up for our faith. Now, Pope Benedict XVI reflects back upon the early community, which we saw in the reading of our Acts of the Apostles here today. He says the early community, when threatened, when they were threatened with persecution, he says they did not attempt to work out how they were going to react. They didn't work out strategies on how we're going to say things and what we're going to do. How are we going to defend ourselves? What legislation are we going to bring up? He says, no, the community prayed and connected to God. And it was that unity that brought them together. They were with one accord. They were in agreement. They were in unanimous prayer. They looked after the needs of one another. They supported one another. They assisted one another, even as the faith was beginning to spread. And so this harmony is in our church even today. Our unity is strengthened when it is threatened or when it is tested. So how do we speak up for one another? So as the United Nations presents these information, presents these statistics for us, then we say we want to speak up. We want to say something. And that's what the icon is calling us to do, calling to marry help of persecuted Christians, those who are persecuted for their faith. And Pope Benedict says, that the trials that we are given is an opportunity for us to speak the word of God with boldness. The Lord says he will be with us. Mary says she will be with us. And the love of God and love of man, even of our persecutors, has to be a part of who we are. Pope Francis, in one of his documents for this evening, reflected upon the life of St. Stephen and said he was one who still prayed for those who were persecuting him, prayed that they would understand Jesus Christ, they would understand what he was all about. So when we are faced with trials, when we are faced with persecutions, then if we know that the Lord and others are with us, then we are able to speak of the love of God, love of others, and especially those who persecute us. And he says that being a martyr brings victory of love, both over hatred and of death. We are able to show a sign of love and show the difference of others. Pope Francis, in his reflection, says, we need to listen to the words, do not fear. Be not afraid. Go forth, I am with you. So we are not to be afraid that the Lord is with us. We are not to be afraid that Mary is with us. And he says, may the Blessed Mother help us to understand our faithfulness to Christ. Today in the church, we also celebrate the Feast of the Queenship of Mary. And we reflect upon her last week being assumed into heaven. Now she is queen of heaven and earth. And she is one who walks with her son. She can intercede for us. And the rosary, which we're going to pray in a few minutes, reminds us of that prayer of the Hail Mary. And we pray that she is graced by God and how she is blessed by the child she carries in her womb. But it's that second part of the prayer, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. So she is praying for us. 
and she is there with us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. So she is with us now. She is with us when we are facing difficulties. She is with us if we are facing persecution. She is with us in our final journeys and our final hours here on earth. And so today we ask for Mary to journey with us. We pray for our fellow Christians who are being persecuted and cannot live out their faith. We want to support, we want to speak for them, we want to pray for them, we want to remember them. And so the icon that is with us from the nights for this year as it travels from council to council and place to place will remind us that we all are united as brother knights. We are all united as people of God, all of us are united as the church to pray for one another, support one another, and journey with one another during these very difficult times. We we'll ask you to stand. We're going to pray the intercessions found on page nine of our booklet. For those suffering because of their Christian faith, that the Holy Spirit may fortify them with the courage to remain strong in faith, as well as with the charity to forgive their persecutors. Through the intercession of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all our brothers and sisters fleeing persecution and devastation in the Middle East, that they may find safe haven and protection, and that they may rebuild their lives in dignity. Through the intercession of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, we pray to the Lord. We pray for government leaders worldwide, that they may recognize the grave responsibility that comes with power and may protect the persecuted. Through the intercession of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who persecute Christians and other religious minorities, that the light of God's truth, truth and mercy may penetrate their hearts, and that they may come to recognize the common humanity of all peoples and cease committing acts of hatred. Through the intercession of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who provide assistance to those fleeing persecution and violence, that they may continue to see the face of Christ in the most vulnerable. Through the intercession of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, we pray to the Lord. For the cause of canonization of Venerable Father Michael J. McGivney, founder of the Knights of Columbus, that this holy priest who cared so deeply for those persecuted in their places of work and in their own communities may soon be raised to the honors of the altar. Through the intercession of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, we pray to the Lord. And for our own personal private intentions, Through the intercession of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, we pray to the Lord. Lord I ask you now to please either kneel or sit as we pray the rosary. And this evening we will pray the sorrowful mysteries. You can find them in the booklet as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For an increase of our faith, hope, and love, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Our leaders, we ask that you come forth up here to lead us in our various mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Sit here, Jesus said to Peter, James, and John, as they entered the Garden of Gethsemane, while I go over there and pray. The reality of persecution would soon fall upon Jesus and all of his disciples. Judas will betray him. Peter will publicly deny Jesus three times, and eventually all but John will be martyred. Today, every man, woman, and child throughout the world who experiences persecution is united with Jesus in Gethsemane. As we with him, they pray, not my will, but thy will be done. Through the intercessions of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, let us ask for the grace to stay and watch with Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, and now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have... The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Jesus was tied to a pillar and scourged, persecuted by us and on account of our own sins. Jesus fulfills the prophecy of Isaiah. He was pierced for our sins, crushed for our iniquity. He bore the punishment that makes us whole. Jesus did not deny his faith, run from his captors, or call down fire from heaven. Instead, in this scourging at the pillar, the Son of God was united with all of his persecuted disciples throughout all of time, sharing in their lacerations, bruises, and wounds. Through the intercession of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, let us ask for the grace to persevere alongside our Lord through every form of suffering. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. This day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. As he was crowned with thorns, Jesus united himself with all who experience humiliation, jeers, and mockery for his sake. Every Christian, to some extent, must receive a crown of thorns as he or she experiences rejection by the world and attacks from the evil one. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. With obedience, Jesus said yes to this pain. In so doing, he showed us how to accept and transform humiliation for the sake of the kingdom of God. Through the intersection of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, let us ask for the grace to endure humiliations in solidarity with our persecuted brethren for the glory of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Jesus must now lift the very wood upon which he will be crucified, and demonstrate to us the words he told his disciples. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Jesus united himself to all of his followers who, 
persecuted on account of him, nonetheless shoulder their burden with dignity. He showed us how to lift our own sufferings, failings, weaknesses, wounds, and temptations. He is with us, inviting us to press on for his sake. Through the intercession of Our Lady help of per persecuted Christians, let us ask for the strength to carry our cross, enduring suffering in union with Jesus who bore our cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit that was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion. Jesus' hands and feet are nailed to the cross, and he is crucified, paying the full price of persecution for our sake. My God, my God, he cried out in the words of the psalmist, why have you abandoned me? In the third hour that Friday, as he said, it is finished. Jesus persevered to the end with the obedience of his Father's will. In his humanity, he united himself with all those who would be persecuted for his sake, experiencing their every emotion, pain, and sense of abandonment. He goes before us, alongside us, behind us, 
and within us. So the intercession of Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians. Let us ask for the grace to persevere to the end, knowing that the Lord will never abandon us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and attain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I ask you to remain standing as we do the litany of Our Lady Help of Persecuted Christians, found on page 25. Pray. Queen of Martyrs, pray. pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Pray for us. Queen of Families, Pray for us. Queen of Peace, Pray for us. Comfort of the Afflicted, Pray for us. Mirror of Justice, Pray for 
seed of wisdom, cause of our joy, vessel of honor, mystical rose, tower of David, tower of ivory, house of gold, ark of the covenant, gaze of heaven, morning star, virgin most prudent, virgin most venerable, Virgin most powerful, Virgin most merciful, Virgin most faithful, Mother of Christ, Mother of divine grace, Mother of sorrows, Mother of all persecuted, Mother of our Savior, Our Lady help of persecuted Christians. Let us pray. O God of infinite goodness and kindness, give us the grace to honor Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, so that imitating her Son in this life, we may enjoy eternal life with him. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Page 29. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our prayer for Pope Francis. Lord, source of eternal life and truth, give to your shepherd, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love by governing with fidelity those entrusted to his cares. May he, as successor of the Apostle Peter and Vicar of Christ, build your church into a sacrament of unity, love, and peace for all the world. And may we, in faithful communion with him, always seek to further the pastoral mission of your church. Through Christ our Lord, amen. We conclude with our prayer that was uh, for persecuted Christians. It's in our booklet. It's also a prayer card which you can take home with you today. Together, O God of all the nations, the one God who is and was and always will be, in your providence you will that your church be united to the suffering of your Son. Look with mercy on your servants who are persecuted for their faith in you. Grant them perseverance and courage to be worthy imitators of Christ. Bring your wisdom upon leaders of nations to work for peace among all peoples. May your spirit open conversion for those who contradict your will, that we may live in harmony. Give us the grace to be united in truth and freedom and to always seek your will in our lives. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Our Lady, help of persecuted Christians, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us conclude with our final verse of Sing of Mary. Glory be to God the Father, glory be to God the Son, glory be to God the Spirit, glory to the three in one. From the heart of Blessed Mary, from all saints the song ascends, and the church the strain re-echoes unto earth's 
remotest end.